All right, let's dive into a topic that's crucial for anyone in the field of data science, understanding the differences between structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. Why should you care? Well, knowing this can dramatically affect how you handle, process, and analyze data. Let's get started. First up, structured data. This is your neat freak of the data world. It loves order and precision. Imagine a well-organized filing cabinet where everything has its specific place. That's structured data for you. It's stored in tables with rows and columns, much like what you see in relational databases or spreadsheets. Because of its organized nature, structured data is a breeze to search and analyze using traditional methods like SQL queries. It's straightforward, predictable, and let's face it, a little boring for the adventurous out there. Moving on to semi-structured data. This is where things start to get a bit more, let's say, relaxed. Semi-structured data doesn't follow a strict schema like its structured sibling, but it isn't entirely without rules either. It's like that person who has an organized mess. They know where everything is, even if it doesn't look neat to an outsider. Formats like JSON and XML are prime examples. They allow data to have a varied set of attributes, which makes this type particularly popular in modern web applications and APIs. Semi-structured data is the middle ground, offering more flexibility while retaining some structure. And finally, unstructured data, the wild child of the data family. There's no predefined format or organization here. We're talking about emails, social media posts, videos, images, and more. It's all the random, unorganized content that doesn't fit neatly into rows and columns. Traditional methods flounder with unstructured data, but thanks to advancements in technologies like natural language processing and computer vision, we can now sift through this chaos to find patterns and insights. If structured data is a calm library, unstructured data is a bustling city market. To sum it up, whether it's the pristine rows and columns of structured data, the flexible attributes of semi-structured data, or the chaotic richness of unstructured data, understanding these types will help you navigate the complex landscape of data management and analysis. Each type has its strengths and challenges, and in the real world, you'll likely encounter all three. Knowing how to handle them effectively is key to making informed decisions and unlocking the full potential of the data at your disposal. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this overview helpful, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share this video with others who might benefit. Until next time, keep diving deep into the data.